If you drive for seven hours and travel 385 miles, what is your rate? This is an application problem of the formula distance equals rate times time. So if we start with our formula, d equals r times t. If you travel for seven hours, then t equals seven hours. And if you travel 385 miles, then distance d equals 385 miles. Now we'll perform substitution into the equation and solve for r, which is the rate. When we perform the substitution, though, we are going to leave off the units. So d equals 385 equals r, which we're solving for, times t, which is seven. r times seven equals seven r. So we have 385 equals seven r. Seven r means seven times r. So to solve for r, we'll divide both sides by seven. This simplifies to r. r is equal to this quotient. So 385 divided by seven. There are five sevens and 38. Five times seven is 35. Subtract, this would be three. Bring down the five. And there are five sevens and 35. Five times seven equals 35. So in this case, we have a remainder of zero. And therefore, the average rate is exactly 55. And the units would be miles per hour. Notice how the units for 385 would be miles, and the units for seven would be hours. So your rate is 55 miles per hour. Now I do want to point out that what we could have done is taken the equation d equals r times t, solved it for r, and then performed the substitution. For example, if we started with this equation here, distance equals rate times time, and solved it for r, we would divide both sides by t. If we simplify, we would have d divided by t equals r, or r equals d divided by t. Notice if we use this equation to perform the substitution, we would have r equals the distance, 385 miles, divided by the time, which is seven hours. Of course, the quotient would be the same, 55, and notice how in this form it does emphasize that the units would be miles per hour. I hope you found this explanation helpful.